CDCR number, your county of conviction, and the year in which you were convicted. I want to welcome everyone to this uh, Senate Bill uh, 1437 training. Good morning. Good morning. Before we start, I want to thank CDCR and Governor Brown and the administration at Folsom for allowing us to do this. So a felony murder is a strange theory where it says that you don't have to have killed, intended to kill, just part agreeing to participate in that underlying felony. And we have many cases from around the state, people who were, you know, participants in the felony but weren't even at the scene of the homicide and yet ended up with a 25 years to life sentence. It was a barbaric rule. Yeah, it's just how it was in California for so many years, and now that's ending, and now there's, uh, we're doing the statewide training so that people can see, like, hey, it's time to go home. Like, they finally fixed this injustice, and if you fall under that category, you're eligible for relief. And it's a dream come true for a lot of these guys. So what we're doing is restore justice, coming into every prison in California to do these trainings, to pass out the guidebooks, to pass out the petitions for resentencing. Two to two and a half hour, down and dirty law school class who is and is not eligible for resentencing. SB 1437 does not apply to all defendants in a felony murder. This bill does not go into effect until January 1st. And technically January 1st is a court holiday, so January 2nd. So if you turn your documents in now, do not expect that clock to start. So I want to make that very clear. I've been reading everything that I can get my hands on about 1437 because I had a joint trial. And in my trial, the theory of the case was that my crime was the perpetrator and I was the aider and the better. And the jury convicted him a first degree murder and me a second degree murder. So I wasn't sure how I would fall into this specifically. But from the training today, I realized that the law is more elastic than what I initially thought I read. So I just, again, even if it doesn't impact you personally, just know that there are people in Sacramento that are thinking about you and they care about you and they want to make the law just, not just for people tomorrow, but for people who were convicted yesterday, okay? It gives a lot of guys hope. You know, there's, there's been a slew of uh, Senate bills and Assembly bills giving people relief. So uh, even if it's not that huge of a number or that big of a percentage of the population, it's still something that it's, it gives God, like all these guys, hopefully they're eligible and they go home. And that's going to mean a lot for their families, for their communities, and, and they're going to they're gonna be assets to their community when they go home.